Hey everybody, I'm David Foreman, also known around the world as the herbal pharmacist. And what I like to do is I like to travel the world and help educate people about what it means to be healthy in a healthy lifestyle. So I came to an area between the Red Sea and the Dead Sea, the middle of the desert in southern Israel. I'm looking for the company Algatech. What amazing conditions there are around me. Can you imagine that somebody actually built a factory in the middle of all David, of this? David, David, where are you? Oh, guy, I'm just hey, looking for you for so many you. hours. Good to see you, my friend. Um, I, I was lost in the desert. Did you want to see the real thing? I would love to see it. Thank Please. you. Please, right, let's go. Thank you. So um, this facility looks pretty amazing. Uh, what kind of things are you going to show me? Uh, you're going to be amazed of what you're going to see. You can see now that the algae is in the reactors. In this stage, the algae enjoys the best condition. So in nature, the microalgae is in small ponds. And when they feel that the summer is coming because there is more sun, and the temperature of the water go up, there is less food, it starts to accumulate astaxanthin. And that's exactly what we try to do here. We try to mimic the nature in this process. And from this microalgae, we are going to produce the superior astaxanthin that you are so much familiar with. So now we are standing between the lines of the photobioreactors. The photobioreactors are uh, actually a commercial system that's uh, mimicking the natural uh, environment that's causing uh, our algae, the hematococcus, to produce uh, high levels of uh, astaxanthin. In nature, hematococcus produces uh, astaxanthin under harsh conditions in order to cope with this extreme stress and to uh, survive. So in our system, we are mimicking these conditions and make it uh, produce high levels of uh, high quality astaxanthin. Algatech today is not just an astaxanthin company. The microalgae world is a highly diverse one close to different million species. From this million species of microalgae, today, maybe only five or 10 are commercialized. So the potential is there and it's infinite. So Sharon, uh, so far here at Algatech, uh, I, I feel like there's so much passion that goes into taking care of the microalgae. What types of things do you do to support your customer? We want to earn the trust of our customers and uh, we go with them hand in hand from the minute they have their even first spark of a vision through the development until they have the uh, end product that really impacts our customers and creates this unique and very long-term relationship that we've been holding for many, many years. You were here when Algatech started. Can you, yeah. can you give a little bit about the how the community itself was was part of that and obviously still is very much a part of, of Algatech. So can you give yeah. us a little background on that? Anytime you want to grow microalgae, there's the, the magic triangle, okay? There's the technology that you use, there's the place, and there's the strain. And if you change any of those, you not guarantee that it's going to work. This would not be the same company if it wasn't on a kibbutz. It's also very important to understand that the people from the kibbutz don't get the wages into the pockets. All the wages that are made go into the kibbutz and it's divided up equally. So it changes the motivational headset of the people who are working in the factories. Is you do it to succeed, you do it because you want to do well. And it's not so much I'm doing this because of the wage that I'm getting. What's special with us, I think, is that um, the original group actually came from America and they came at the age of 22, 23 when they had their university degrees. I think it's quite unique to have a small community in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the desert, uh, with such a high education. They say it's like the, it's the human capital that actually makes this whole thing work and successful. Can you tell me more about that? Obviously the, the devotion of the members who, who are both employees as well as owners, uh, which is very important. So uh, if I were boiling it, boiling it down, just in my own thing, it's, it's a heart. It's a heart thing. It's a heart thing. It's, you know, it you, comes from within. So Haggai, um, CEO of an amazing company, Algatech. Where do you see it going from here? Algatech for me is not only what you saw today. It's, go it's also about the future. And that's what makes us so much passionate about it. There is so many things that we still can do. Astaxanthin is an amazing product, but it's out of many, which are going to come in the next years. And when you look on the microalgae, that actually everything already is there. What we think at Algatech, why we need to invent if we just can learn? Let's learn from the nature. Let's leverage the nature in order to elevate the health of all of us. We use the wisdom of nature in a way that we don't change it, we mimic it. We use it in order to elevate all of us' life. 
So I'm finishing my day here at Algatec, and wow, what an experience. I flew halfway around the world just to see and experience this unique situation. We've got this harsh environment of the desert and the spiritual loving people from the kibbutz that are running the plant. And wow, I can see why the Algatec astaxanthin is truly the best astaxanthin product on the market. No other place on the planet could you combine the spirituality and the uniqueness of the, the kibbutz along with this environment. So if you want to learn more about Algatec and astaxanthin, please go to the website that's listed below. And thank you for joining me today. It's been truly a blessing.